On today's episode, NASCAR makes the most significant technological change in decades. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today. Now, we don't often talk about sports here at Engineering.com, but auto racing is certainly at the leading edge of engineering, with series like the FIA's Formula One and IndyCar developing radical innovations in engines, chassis, materials, and aerodynamics. Now, the notable exception in big league auto racing is NASCAR. At least it used to be. The key to success for the National Association of Stock Car Auto Racing has been to never let technological innovation get in the way of the show, and to that end, fixed technical regulations have kept innovation to a minimum. Now, as the last major sanctioning body to operate 200 mile per hour race cars with solid rear axles, carburetors, bias ply tires, and steel wheels, the competition has historically been very close and entertaining. But like all motorsport sanctioning bodies, regulations intended to simplify things and reduce costs usually have the opposite effect. And in NASCAR, the sport has evolved slowly from the Chevrolet Junior Johnson won the Daytona 500 with in 1960, which was rolled out of the showroom and prepared in two weeks at a service station, to today's high-tech race car factories like Hendrick Motorsports. In operations like Hendrick, you'll see the highest technologies dedicated toward building relatively low-tech race cars. With such restrictive specifications, victory comes in the little things, and the tiniest advantage can mean the difference between a championship and a field filler. But things have changed. NASCAR is introducing their new generation car, and for the traditional NASCAR fan base, this may come as a shock. Bodies are no longer steel, but are fiber reinforced plastic. Five lug wheels have been replaced by a single center nut like the Open Wheel Series. Wheels are no longer steel, they're alloy, and they're 18 inches in diameter wearing one inch wider tires. Gearboxes are no longer bolted to the bell housing. They're a sequential shift and in a rear transaxle and include a power takeoff for future addition of an electric motor. Rear suspension is now independent. The cars will use a rear vision camera for the drivers and the entire field will be driving with a car full of cameras for extensive TV coverage. So what does all this mean? Well, it means that NASCAR is slowly converging to global touring car specifications and the old tricks unique to NASCAR, like creating negative camber in a solid rear axle or jacking weight into the suspension with a lug wrench, well, those are over. Now, with this change, the last pretense of stock in stock car racing disappears and the cars become full-on racing machines and look it. It also means that years of experience developed by NASCAR teams goes completely out the window, especially with independent rear suspension. The cars will be safer, at least as fast, and may be cheaper to operate, especially as the bodies and chassis will tolerate more contact than the current hand-fabricated steel skin machines. But what I'll miss most is traditional NASCAR pit stops. Five lug nuts glued to steel wheels and manual gas cans are sight to behold at a four-tire stop under green. Now, hopefully NASCAR won't turn into Formula One, but with the teams going to Daytona with completely new chassis and no idea what a race setup should look like, the 2022 Daytona 500 should be one for the ages. Get your popcorn. Well, that's it for today's episode of End of the Line, brought to you by engineering.com. If you like this show, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for our next episode. For our deeper engineering video series for the manufacturing professional, visit engineering.com TV to watch exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future, not found here on our YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.